Okay, we're getting ready to do a few songs off of our new CD coming out. And uh, the title of the CD is A Place Way Back in Time. And this is the title song in that CD. It's called A Place Way Back in Time. Okay, Mike? Okay. All right. <laughs>
yeah. absolutely. So Jean, uh, this is your debut album. It surely is. <laughs> it's kind of a big surprise. Is it a big surprise? Big surprise to all my friends. So and somewhat well, to me too. So how how did let's just say how did the idea first for the album? Well, you know, my career was in athletics and sports, yeah. uh, and I never had any time really to do any kind of performing. Yeah. But I've always loved music, and I've been writing songs and singing songs for many, many years, since back in the 70s, nice. when I was in my 20s. And uh, so when I retired, I had more time for it, and yeah. so then I started doing a little bit more of that. And a good friend of mine who was a banjo student of Mike's, Paula Gray. She's on our CD, actually. And she introduced me to Mike four years ago. <laughs> was and it we, four years? Yes. It was, the, it was the year of your marriage. Yeah, okay. okay. And uh, we, we then sang together a few times, and then Mike invited me to do a show or two with him. And then it's evolved to this. So, uh, what is the, the title of the record? Well, the album is uh, A Place Way Back in Time, okay. and as you just heard a couple of the songs, it, it, a lot of them, uh, or quite a few, half of them anyway, yeah. uh, speak to my growing up in rural North Carolina, okay. in a little town called Union Grove, Union North Grove. Carolina. Okay. And that's a hotbed for this genre of music. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. one of the funny things, that the first day that you came with Paula uh -huh. to my house, I was listening to, I had just picked up this vinyl record, it was one that Mike Seeger or uh, John Cohen, I forget which one, I think Mike Seeger um, had recorded uh, one of the Union Grove Fiddlers conventions, uh -huh. he was there, yeah. and oh the photos in, in this, and this Smithsonian Folkways album were taken by John Cohen, so that's why I'm thinking of him. But. Uh, so I was listening to that today, and when you came over, that was you said, really I'm from a Union Grove, and I said, "Well, I just picked up this record <laughs> yeah. from the Union Grove Fillers Convention, whatever year it was, 1960 something." And you said, "Well, I was probably there." Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I was probably there, and uh, I might have been, you know, as a kid, like yeah. helping, helping well, out, yeah. and things like that. We all had to help out there because you know it's just a little place, a little school, Union Grove. Uh, you know, several hundred people probably, so, yeah. oh, wow. and uh, and they had this big fiddlers convention. It's it's reputed to be the oldest and the most famous in the world. Oh, wow! And it started in 1924, and uh, the proceeds went to to help our school, so all the kids had to work it. <laughs> and it was uh, during the Easter weekend, and lots and lots of people went. I think the first year it might have had four or five hundred, and then it finally got on up to the thousands, like like Woodstock. Something nice. like that, you know, seventy thousand or seventy-five thousand people. Oh, wow. So it was really a big deal. Oh, that's incredible. Um, so where was the album recorded? Um, it was recorded in this uh, real nice studio. <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> was. It was real nice the way we set it, it up. It was at Mike's house. Recorded in my dining Excellent. dining room. Yeah. And, There's uh, nothing wrong. With I know. <laughs> I made a. I, I have. We we now have a, a good friend, uh, um, Matt Fraser, and uh, he uh, he uh, he brings over his mobile recording okay. stuff and yeah. and he had done that with me in 2011. We made an, we made a Mike Oberston Friends album. Oh, it was right. a it was a lot of fun and it worked out quite well and it's very. Well, it's a very comfortable setting, it was. I would say, and yeah. and then uh, and then um, it was uh, mastered um, and mixed by Mark Van Patten, and um, yeah, lots of friends have been yeah. involved. The design who, who, who was Mark Gottlieb. Who else did you have on the uh, record? How many friends? Or who else did you have on? The well, uh, I have a couple of people that I sing with regularly. Okay. And uh, Marianne Broderick is one. We've been singing together for about 25 years. Oh, but wow. we don't really do shows all over or anything. We okay. go to nursing homes and oh, wow. whatever nice. and in our living room. And uh, she's on there on four of the songs. Okay. And then Paula Gray, who introduced me to Mike, she sings with us. <laughs> and uh, she's on there on two or three of them. Yeah. She so kind of had to be. 
She did. She did. <laughs> I know. I tell her she's responsible for it. Because <laughs> yeah. in a sense, she is, you know. Yeah. But I think the person that makes it really, I think, good is Mike. So I appreciate all that he does with it. He made my simple songs I said into music. So. <laughs> That's true, Mike. I just put in twinkling sounds. Twinkling sounds. Always oh, they come out really good. I like twinkling sounds. <laughs> So, uh, when is the uh, uh, CD release show and where is it at? November 5th. Excellent. At uh, the Folk School Coffee Parlor in Ludlow, Kentucky. And I understand it sold out already? Or is that uh, yeah, it did sell out I yesterday. I was telling Mr. that. And then um, they're, they uh, talked to us, Casey and, and Matt. And I, mm -hmm. They talked to us and said, hey, you guys want to do another show that day, an earlier show? So yeah. we're going to do two, two shows. we're going to do a matinee <laughs> and awesome. we'll do our late show. Okay, cool. Should be fun. And uh, where, uh, where would we be able to pick up the record if somebody's not lucky enough to be there for those two shows? Well, well it'll be on, uh, well, downloads will be available online, okay. Amazon. MP3, I believe, and then um, CDBaby.com. You can okay. get the hard copy, gotcha. uh, the actual disc. So, yeah. Very yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mike and Gina. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you for asking us and being here. Oh, well, absolutely. I had fun. Well, we did.